<laughs> we're done. We're done for the night. Oh, Goodbye, everybody. I hit, I hit the wrong button. Dustin hit the wrong button. Immediately into the stream. Uh, we it. don't. We don't break our promises, though. <laughs> so good night. I hope everybody had fun. Yeah, it was a good. So. It was a good stream. Uh, record time. One record minute. time. One minute stream. We we smashed through this pod. Uh, okay, we got some stuff. This pod is gonna be. I think it's gonna be slow and grindy. There's something. a lot of sanctum and a lot of Saurian in this. So I think it might be kind of slow. Everyone, and grindy. get ready. Get your snacks ready. You're going a lot of snacks for this. There's a lot of sanctum, Saurian, unfathomable stuff happening. Uh, this deck does have two eddies, which is pretty good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's resident sleepers already. Yep. Veges. Well, oh, actually, I don't have veg. We do have the evil twin of Praetor Easily Silk Cute. You might remember from Fight Night. Yeah. X. They gave it a go against Light Tasker, but yeah, ultimately yeah. didn't have what it needed. Uh, and actually, this pod actually looks pretty bad for that deck because there's like a Krasasaurus in the mix and all kinds of wacky stuff that can happen. So. Um. Yeah. Now, granted, when you're playing against Sarian with Whirlpool, I mean, you might just not play it. You might not also. play it. Well, that I think you might also, if they give you a Sarian, you get to use it yeah. at least. Yeah. Right. I so. mean, like the Whirlpool is very. They're gonna be given a lot of very usable creatures in these games. Yeah. It's a lot of overlap between the houses. Is it? So. It's got unfathomable uh, Sarian. Two other. All of the all of the other decks have Sarian. Yeah. Two of the other decks have unfathomable. So that's a big overlap. We're all dinos tonight. Both have dinos, you just play it. It's probably fair. In well, the interest of fun, we'll probably just play it. A lot of the dinos, I mean, like, Cornice and Octavia just seems really good with it. You just use her action until it's her time to get sent mm -hmm. to the other side. It's so. your time to go. That's like hot potato. Just like, don't get caught with the yeah. guy with 10 hammer yeah. on. My, uh, let me see what hammer yeah. control I'm playing around. None in Sanctum. You, you got a taxing journey. That's the <laughs> extent of it. Uh, Cinesol, Shargassa. This deck actually has a lot. Um, no, but two strange ordinations, though. Uh, okay, but you do have a lot of Fausts to go with the Krasasaurus. Uh, and then Unfathomable Fodix are Amber Control. Flame Gill is Amber Control. Okay. Traded old Bruno. F5. Okay, so I'm going first. This deck has Archon's Callback, so since I'm going first, I'll probably aggressively mulligan to try to hit the Archon's Callback. If I don't hit it here. I hit it here. Bang! Archon's callback. I'll draw five. Um, so... One, two... I guess three, I'll die. Four, five. Okay, I'll say Sanctum. I'll discard Hammergram. I'll play Bulwark and Larry of the Lake. What's up, Sky Jedi? Hello. Okay, I'm gonna say Logos again. I am going to play backup plan, so for each creature you control in excess of me, I'll archive the top card of my deck. And then I am going to play Eddie, who's most likely dead, but I'll archive another card. TFW, your opponent has Logos. I'll play Armor all. Drone. I'll not Tall Mage yet. I'll play Osteralis. I'll play Tall Mage. So that's five for Tall Mage. Okay, and I will draw one. Turn. Play Saurian. I'll white clear one everything. Play Carpe Venum and Exalt. Uh, Exalt Eddie and Seaborg. Play a Faust. Capture Icons of Matter and a Council Primus. Your turn.
Okay, with four Logos creatures, I'm honestly very tempted to just say Logos here. Uh, I'll have Armadrone fight Console Primus. Do a damage, steal one. I'll reap with the Seaborg and shoot the Console Primus and raise the tide for myself. Um, Eddie will just reap, and then I'll have Tall Mage. I think I just kill Bulwark here, since Bulwark um, is in a position where he can just kind of kill my creatures. Um, okay, and that is my turn. It's like I could take a turn. I could take a turn, um, but I kind of value getting the Tide here. Um, same fathomable. I will thunder tow the seaborg and Eddie. Okay, so Eddie is toast. Seaborg takes two. And I'll play a Kekoa. Your turn. Uh, not ready. Okay, I will put my archives into my hand, and I will say Sanctum. I am going to Strange Ordination. I am going to Grand Melee. Take it side. Side goes back to you. I will play Larry Delay. No, I will do. Bulwark, Seneschal, Larry, shifting battlefield, and I will put the Amber on Seneschal. And I'll say check with seven, and it's your turn to draw three. Why are you growling, Eddie? What you got to growl at? I'll say, sorry, and I'll ostracize the Seneschal. Gone. And I'll play this Brachia Dice. Your turn. All right, I will forge. like a weird turn. I guess Sanctum is fine here. I'll reap with Larry, I'll reap with Bulwark, and I will Cleansing Wave uh, to get two. And it is your turn. I will draw one. This Sanctum will discard Grand Melee. I will play a Strange Ordination. I will Place Seneschal a taxing journey into the Brachioditis. Your turn. All right, I am going to say Saurian. Mm, I'll, I'll play Medicus Lacus, I'll play Venator Altum, I'll Carpe Venum. I think it's all Archon's callback. Yeah, right? I don't think it's necessarily like perfect order. I just think he has Lotus and I don't I think it's as simple as that. Um, I will ostracize to get the Brachioditis. Now I have the tools to deal with stuff. Um, I could take the Tide here to threaten with Medicus Lacus, but I don't think it's worth it. Um, I'll just tell you to go ahead and draw four. Alright, I'll say uh, Unfathomable. I will. Bubbles the Venator. I will bubbles the Bulwark. I'm going to play a Raider and a Raider. And done. Okay, I am going to say Logos. I am going to information exchange and steal one. I am going to phase shift Carpe Venum. I'll exalt the two raiders. Uh, 
I will reap for three. I am going to final analysis, both draw five doors. This is mine? No, that's yours. This is that no. is was the one on Sinishal, right? Okay, so draw five. Okay, and that's my turn. I'll say check with 12. Well. Say so sorry, and I guess I'll play Faust. I'll exalt. I'll play a pterodactyl. I'll play a pterodactyl. I will decadence to exalt. Ready and use pterodactyl. And your turn. Okay, so I'll pay 8 for the key. I am going to say Sanctum. I'm going to play Honor or Glory and deal 3 damage to each flank creature. I will play Charge. I will play Bulwark and do 2 damage to Faust. The, th the Pterodactyl also has 3 damage. Then I am going to Shifting Battlefield. And it is your turn. I will draw 3. I'll check with 6. Can't stop you. I think that, yeah, it was like just too much momentum for the Archon's callback. Yeah. I don't know how you're supposed to, like. It's yeah. just like. There are board states. There's specific boards that can pop up in a game of Dark Tidings where the amount of advantage that you generate puts your opponent so far behind that. Like the cards in DT just aren't powerful enough to get you back into the game. The problem is it's no really clean board wipes, no target yeah. removal to remove. Because you had grand melee, right? But it I just, just does like, nothing. Was, yeah, just, my guy is in such very a way. easily play around it. Yeah, I play. I I forced you into the grand melee, right? Because I had initiative on the board. Yeah. Um, I could like pick apart a couple of things, and so. Grand Melee d didn't hurt me in the slightest and like just destroyed three creatures of Justin's. It was like uh, three fates at that point, right? Yeah. Like it was just. Like in that vein, Grand Melee is great when you're ahead, but awful yeah. when you're behind. Yeah, it's 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 good when it's good when you can kind of uh, And fighting is good, but that's another card that your opponent can play around. You can play easily. around it, right? You just put your smallest creatures to the left and your biggest creatures to the right. It's great with triggering your key frogs, yeah. Yeah. yeah you can you can play for infighting. Like infighting at least would get damage on stuff, right? So that way you can clean it up with some of the other stuff. But... Yeah. The evil twin. This deck does not look amazing. This sanctum is pretty unimpressive. I need to finish the games out so I don't forget. Yeah, impressive showing by Logos in that first game uh, by playing Archon's Callback on turn one. It's a pretty good play. Also got a big file analysis off, and this kind of junked my hand up. But I guess like that junk was going to be in I had, my deck. So I had the first or last, so I could at least do a bunch of damage. So that like if you did respond with like a big board or something, I, I could like file analysis is great when you have more board rips in your deck, right? Because yeah. like if your opponent drops you draw, those creatures, you, you draw like, into the second yeah. one. It helps you draw into it. Yeah, yeah, it's a great card. Uh, we haven't rolled yet. Six. Six. Four. Seven. Seven. A hard card to know when to play it. It's definitely hard to not like get greedy with it. 
a lot of the time it's not the right play to play it when you yes. have a bunch of creatures, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna sound. I'm also gonna leave. Didn't quite. I had like some synergies. So. Legacy Savage Clash would be good, yeah. I'm like most of the time fine with playing it if my opponent has like six creatures. I mean, I, I gotta get rid of those creatures, right? Yeah. Now. I'll deal you with may not, they play. You may not lose to the cards in their hand, but you will absolutely lose You're to You're in the like process of losing to the stuff. Five the creatures if they're all in the same house. Yeah. A lot, just so many creatures in the center. Just, you gotta kill them. Memory Opposition discovered the big issue with a spelled Amber wrong on my CDN. Yeah. Well, you're spelling Amber wrong right now. Wow. I still like uh, Unlocked Gateway. That's my favorite. And obviously, it's got the Omega draw drawback, but it's just so clean. A Amber. A Amber. Georges. Uh, you were first? Right. Yes. All right, I am gonna play Altris Rostrum, and I'll tell you to go ahead. And... Play two shadows. This is a deck. This is a deck design. Play, tomorrow, play right? shadows. Play two scoops. I don't think so. Two scoops. And the hobnobber and shoulderhead. I have exactly one steal it. All right, I am going to say Sarian. I'm gonna play uh, Venator Altum. I'm gonna play Hedonistic Intent, and we'll exalt each flank creature. Uh, I will rostrum mine onto the Hobnobber. I will wipe clear to do one damage, and then I'll play Sensor Philo. And it is your turn. I will draw four. Okay, I'll say this is not. I'll say. Uh... Unfathomable. Play Whirlpool. I'm gonna capture one with the capture icon. I'm gonna use Hobnobber to steal one. I will. Days number Hobnobber. Oh, did I get the one for playing it? Uh, you had two in the first turn, so no. I will. Tidal Wave, the Tide Side, destroy a creature, even neighbors. It's not. Your opponent raises the Tide, so you raise the Tide. And I will. Recusal's Chant to exhaust the Sensor Philo. Then I am done. Give me this hot number. Okay. Oh, he's ready, right? Yep. Okay, I am going to say sorry. I'm gonna play hedonistic intent. I am going to Altris Rostrum. Give me Amber just flying everywhere. Um Venator Altum is gonna kill the shoulder head. We'll steal one. Um, and that is that. You get that. Okay, that's, but, and I'll draw one. Go ahead. Okay, I'll say shadows. I will stir up trouble for those two. So they deal damage to each other. Okay. You forge, but I forge it. I will play a booby trap. I will play a ransack and deal one. Play gas pipes, play whisper. Your turn. I am going to say Sanctum. I will play Hammergram on Sensor Philo. I will Cleansing Wave. I 
will play a Sir Bever. I'll play another Sir Bever. And it's your turn. I'll draw four. Forge. I will. A Sarian. Play Spoils of Battle. I'll capture, capture, capture. Size to purge the Venator. I'll discard Crushing Charge. I'll unstun here. Give you a gas pipe. Uh, I did. I healed from the wave because I took three from Hammergram. I healed one. I am going to say unfathomable. I'll storm surge. They're ready. I will Sherman. Nathan didn't? Oh, okay. Uh heal from my Venator? I'm like pretty sure. Pretty sure I healed. I got the two amber as if I was if I had healed it. Jeez. Facing other directions. Um, I will oh, play. Oh, different same sleeves? Yeah. Um, Voice of Recusal. Oh, and, God. We're playing uh, Whirlpool Gun. with the same sleeves. And it's your turn. You'll get General Sherman. We will definitely need a deck check after this. I'll draw four. All right. At, um, least, at least this is the only game that we have to worry about that. Yeah. So. You need to purge the Venator. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I yeah. ostracized it. I will play. Reap with General Sherman. I'll play General Sherman. This stuff, this is your General Sherman. This is all yours. So I'll face it toward you. And these come into play. Those are yours. Uh, these are mine. So, okay, put those here, put those here, and those there. Return to play, exhausted and under, okay. I'll, bubbles, Sir Bever. I will Wrath of Ruin and capture one and return those to your hand. I'll discard Maelstrom. Give you those gas pipes. And you do not ready. We will definitely be counting the or checking the, the counts after this, yes. The easiest thing to do is like give each other our own Shermans. I will say Sarian. I am going to play Sensor Philo and Medicus Lycus. I'll Altris Rostrum onto Bubbles. And I'll ostracize Bubbles. And it is your turn. Say, Arian. I'll humble those two to exhaust them. I'll discard Senator Quintina. 
and I am going to say Sanctum, I'll place her Bever, play Hold Fast, I'll place her Bever, Hammer Gram Gas Pipes. And it's your turn, I'll draw. Let's say Unfathomable Brain Drain. Uh, I'll get the Raider, and then I'll Brain Drain and get the Spoils. I lose because I have no amber control because you took it all from my hand. Okay, so evil twin. Evil twin. These are yours. Uh, none of this was used, so this should all be the same deck. Right. Justin played Whirlpool, and I immediately lost that game. Like, I just immediately lost it. Yep. Alright, we're good. Because I had put all that work into getting the hobnobber ready to kill, and he was like, here's your here's your hobnobber. After that asshole stole one from me. This deck showed it has the, the stuff. It's got the it's got the whirlpool, the whirlpool stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Get the whirlpool and play. And do it. Do stuff with it. Alright, I'm on the second of Grand Land. You're on Prater this time. No risk of mixing sleeves this time. It's fine. Yeah. Two three O games in a row. Those actually have not been that common in Dark Tidings, I feel like. Because like I think the game one deck does run away with it, but the other deck forges it still. Because there's yeah. like not a lot of there's not a lot of amber control. Amber control yeah. yeah. Now that might only be like one key, but. Yeah, I mean that game was just miserable. I was just like looking at creatures. Right. Um, it's like nothing happened. No, these don't do anything. Yeah, if anything, they hurt me. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. There's this dinosaur that can't do anything. He's yours now. So we uh, we play the Mulligan for Archon's Callback game. We yeah. Try to win off the <laughs> backs on that. That's the idea. Although Evil Twin, that deck probably has. A lot of answers for the stuff this deck's doing. I mean, it has, it has so many boar wipes too, is a thing. And it's got like syrup trouble, it's got booby trap, the shadows are super violent, it's got the uh, what's it called? The crushing charges. It's got two crushing charges, right? Or just one? Two. Two? Yeah. Is there a first of Grand Land? I don't know. Look it up. See if there is. Maybe there's like only a third. Yeah, I would just look up Grand Land and yeah, see, yeah. If, see if any decks. I think that's one of the uh, more underrated aspects of Keyforge collecting is trying to get all of like the decks in a family. <laughs> I don't. I do think that this stream is going to slow down at some point because I don't know. I don't. I don't see the other games being as fast as those. I could be wrong. Though. I don't know. Could be wrong. I don't know. We will see. I mean, Sinistral Sargassa against Whirlpool is like. Do you actually play this? Yeah, because that's like my opponent takes takes it, captures it, gives it right back to me. I wonder when that roll. It's a completely different game. Uh, ain't got it. So we're I, I don't have whirlpool, so I mulligan. There's no second big daddy. That's too bad. Is there a first big mama? <laughs> Second big country. <laughs> <laughs> Lima. That's pretty good. Mama gal. Mama gal. Mama gal definitely sounds like something somebody in the country would call them. Second mom. big country is really funny. Unbearably modern imp of Grand Land. So unbearably modern. 
guy who just won't shut up about cryptocurrency. <laughs> he's like a he's like a vegan who trades cryptocurrency. He's like the character from American Gods, the show, uh, the technology kid. I can't remember what his name is. The God of technology, but he's just like a Zoomer kid in the show. You never saw the show, did you? Uh, I only saw part of the first season. Okay. I didn't finish it. So. All right, I'm first. I'll play a bulwark. Why do you feel attacked, Stormstrong? What have we done? I'll say shadows. I'll play booby trap. I'll play the evil twin, Hard Simpson. Um, I'm gonna play ransack just because I want the top card discarded. If to it's not a shadows, shadows card. yeah. That's fair. For tidal wave, be back, but okay. I need to draw a card. Well, I'll say... This deck's actually incredibly violent looking at it now. Yeah, it is. It is. They just, <laughs> we only played it against Light Tasker, right? Uh, yeah. So For a Dark Tidings deck, this deck is violent. I'll say Logos. So I'll play Final Analysis. Draw one. I will... Information Exchange. Positron Bolt. I'll play Armadron, I'll play Eddie, and I'll archive it. Sure. We've got 24 creature removal. That's gotta be our highest in the set, right? That's that's gotta be up there. It's not it's not nothing. Uh I'm gonna recusal's chant the Armadrone. I will play General Sherman stuff in and do this whale. <laughs> I'll play Whirlpool and I'll capture one. And away we go. Yeah. There's General Sherman for you. He's untapped. I'll draw two. I'll say. I'll say. Guardian. I'm going to ostracize the Sherman. I'll play Reach Advantage and take the Tide. I think it's like kind of tempting to take three chains there. I just really don't want to take chains. I'll play. It's like one in 25 or more. Uh, Nine total, like not even counting Dark Tidings, just period. Just period or? Because I was saying like in Dark, Dark Tidings probably. I could see many of other sets having 25 easy. Now in those other sets it probably isn't that good. And I've got an armor drone now. You have an armor. Twenty-five or more. It's all the decks. Okay. Yeah. I am going to say Sarians and I'll crushing charge. I'm going to play Quintina. Um, I will play Spoils of. That. I guess I have to play these two sensor phylos first, and then I can play Spoils of Battle and put it on. Oh, so you have to explode it. Yeah. Um, and then it's your turn. You'll get Quintina, and I will drop a chain and draw. Say, thank them and pick up the archive. I will honor glory deal three to each flank creature, and then cleansing wave. Or Jar Plow, Spawn of Char Puddle. I love that. I always loved that name. Yeah, that's a really good name. 65 Sass. What's the creature control? Is it on, does it say it on that little list there? 34 removal. Whoa. <laughs> was that Jeez. one of the was that one of the Triple H decks? Um I don't Jar think Plow. so, actually. I'll discard Grand Melee. Play Seneschal. Is that a bad idea? I don't really want to give you Medicus Locus though. I 
Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I'll play Seneschal there. I'll play Shifting Battlefields on Quintina to capture two. That is the play. Now I'll give you this. Let's check six. Okay, I am going to say um, only two hundred and eighty two Dark Titans X with twenty five plus creature patrol. Wow, wowie. Uh, I'm going to say Sarian. I'm going to humble the Quintina. Hmm. That's an interesting that has humble. It's like two humbles for defensive dumping. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, it, was a, it was a tough choice. Yeah. Um, I'm going to reap with this sensor Philo. It's exalted. I'll take three chains to take the tide. Capture two onto sensor Philo, and then uh, this sensor Philo will fight Medicus Lacus, and then whirlpool that on over. I'll drop a chain and draw. Mm, okay. Play Saurian. Only 182 DT. Hmm, okay. So it's, uh, this is in the upper echelon. The Nader Altum. This is one of those decks or where, like, you that. open it the opening weekend, and you're like, Whirlpool, this seems hard to play in sealed. And then you go back, it's like four months into Dark Tidings, you go back, and you look at this deck, and you're like, this deck would have been insane! How do I lose with this deck? Yeah. Um, um, I'll play Faust, and I'll exalt Sargasso. I will... Play Carpy Venom to exalt the Cantina. Play Reach Advantage with a Capture Icon to raise the tide and capture two. And uh, I'm done. So I have this guy. Yeah. Reap. And exalt. There you go. Okay. I am going to say Shadows. I'll play a Shoulder Head. Um, I am going to stir up some trouble between those two. Um, uh, let's go ahead. It takes three. Um, to take the chains to raise the tide. I could actually do that before, um, and you would end up exalting Venator, but then I gotta like deal with that on the following turn. Um, honestly, I don't think I'll worry about it right now. I'll just give you that. And uh, you can forge, I'll drop a chain and draw to you. Oh, I'm just, like throwing the chain away. I'll just drop the chain. Uh, I'll say Sanctum. Play Larry of the Lake. Take three chains. Uh, I did not take the Oh, you time. didn't take the time? No, I did not. Uh, okay, I'll play Larry of the Lake. I'll play Strange Ordination. And... I am going to say Sarian. I am going to crushing charge. Uh, 
and I will play Grimlockus Ducks. You didn't answer a six power, two armor creature with four amber on it. I don't think you're answering this eleven power creature with two armor. I'll give you a Seneschal, and it's your turn. I'll drop a chain and draw two. Yeah, creature control of twenty is historically way too much. However, in Dark Tidings, I think it may be the key. Yeah. To not getting blown out. Yeah. Uh, I'll say Saurian. Play white clear. Done. I'll play Carpe Venom. To exalt this too. I will reap twice. Exalt twice. And your turn. GT struggling to get 10. Yeah, I believe it. Uh, I am going to say unfathomable. I'm going to brain drain you. Looks like Eddie is on top of your deck. I am going to uh, Uble the Sargassa. The Brutality. I am going to play Echo Pearl. I'm going to play Guilt Spine Netcaster. And it's your turn. Maybe I think. Self. Play check with 11. I'll drop a chain. I'll draw four. Forge? Yeah, yeah. Your local starts back on Monday. That's very exciting. That's great. Hopefully. Wonderful news. A reasonable amount of people show up. Uh, I will say Logo Cell so Science. I will play. Seaborg. Uh, I'll play. I'll play Steelheart. Gets two counters. Then I'll play Seaborg, and I'll. Oh, uh, I'll backup plan. Then play Seaborg. The backup plan's from the top of the deck. What? Yeah. Oh well, hold on. We'll hang on there. I had no idea. Uh, Soul's Dark Ops up too, which I already know what they are. Yeah. Then I'll play. Tall Mage and that. I get one for the science, for the backup plan. I'll get an extra power counter on Tall Mage. And I am done. It's, it's a Seaborg there. Wait, I wanted to keep the Seaborg. And give me a Quintina or a. Yeah, I want to give you a Quintina. Okay. Do that. I have to do that. Okay, yeah. alright, so I'll forge. Four would be reasonable. It was dying before COVID. Well, maybe Dark Titans will bring some more interest. I've seen a lot of more interest from people that discovered the pop mode and yeah. diving into the game because of that. Yeah, that actually seems to be fairly common. Yeah. Okay, I am going to say Unfathomable. I'm going to play Brain Drain. Uh, I'm going to put the Cleansing Wave on top because I think if you just resolve that, I lose. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, okay, so now I am in a weird position. Is there a deterministic route to victory? I think I take bubbles and I fight the seaborg. I Reap with the guilt spine. Exalt. I can use ready and use a friendly non aquan creature. I'll reap with Grim Lacus. Exalt. Um. I'll 
Echo Pearl a Tall Mage. I'm in Rage and Stun. In Rage, Exhaust, and Stun. Okay, it's your turn. You'll get it's loaded up Grimlockus. I'll say check with eight and I'll draw to you. I'll say Logos and pick up the archive. So phase shift, healer harm. You have this fight. You know. Oh, it's got a capture icon on it. Capture under the shoulder in. I will play Eddie. Archive a card. And I'll Archon's callback. So one, two. I'll go up to seven cards. No get shoulder in. I'll forge for seven. Okay, I am going to say Sarian. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, I did see that. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's incredibly accurate. <laughs> okay, I will play Spoils of Battle. So I'll get one. I'll capture onto the Venator. Uh, Grimlockus will get one. I'll put one on the Venator. I'll put one on the shoulder. I am going to humble my shoulder id. Your shoulder id. The defensive. The defensive humbles. Wait, it is your shoulder id. I forgot I had so for so long. I yeah, it was, it was like your control for most of this game. <laughs> um, I will ostracize the Grimlockus. Send him over to the other side. And you, yep. you ostracized him. Yep. The deposed king. Um, and then I think I reap with Venator here. Um, and I'll send this Venator back to you. And I will draw three. Hmm. Deep lore foul. Okay. Let's play Sanctum. I'll play Charge. I'll play Strange Ordination. I will play Seneschal and hit the Guilt Spine. I'll Shifting Battlefield this guy. And he captures one. And I'll Cleansing Wave. <laughs> Oh, that draw! No, I had it, right? You put it back on top of my deck. No, 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 no. The 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 shifting battlefield. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because that was not in your hand, yeah. right? Uh, Did you have... Is that deck to have, does that deck have two? I think it only has one. That, so I've, I've had this Maelstrom for quite some time that I've been trying to set two. up. Okay. I had this Maelstrom to try to set it up. Um, And I was like, as long as you don't burst here, I'm fine. But you you bursted so much. Uh, You got it. I can't. Stop there you it. go. Okay. Ah, uh, so frustrating because this game, this was like a good game. It was a good game. Like, and th we don't get those in Dark Tidings. Is the thing we don't get games that are this like heady, um, and like thought provoking and stuff like that. It's mostly just one person has four creatures and then use those. And so. this, this is probably um, a bad matchup for that deck. Uh, but it was still pretty close. I don't think it's that bad if I don't start the game with ran with five shadows cards in hand. If I don't start the game with ransack, mm, yeah. right? Like uh, I, I think the game is a little bit better than it probably is. That deck does have tools that are good against. Yeah, it, so. yeah. Just use creatures for it. Just yeah. use them. That was a good game though.
I mean, shifting battlefield. Is yeah, that's bad. like so bad. Like, that that's like that probably the, actually the worst card in the matchup. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. The, it, you drew the strange ordination. Yeah. I could stop one amber, mm. and that and that was like the thing, like. I knew you had a big burst coming, and I was like, I gotta just stop as much as I can, and you went to nine, and that was just, like, too much. Zinzor. I got stuck, I, what happened is I got stuck behind chains so right. much of that game, um, so. Zinzor. So both those move on, I just I think pretty good chance for easily to take another game. Yeah. Uh, I think that was the second win for... I think I, I, think I just lost to Logos. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, again, that's, once again... Because, like, the Unfathomable beats everything in this set handily, except, except Logos. Logos, I think, because Logos just draws out of it, right? And Becca Plan and Eddie. Yeah. yeah, I hate losing that game. That's, like, the only game of the last, like, week. That's the only game I'm mad about losing. Um, because I had so much information and I was trying to set that play up so it's like the only thing I can't account for is what he draws on the reshuffle um, so hitting the strange ordination there just sucks it just hurts a lot I forgot it wasn't that good. Uh, you won with this deck, right? Uh, this is the deck no. you ran over with. This you okay? This lost it easily as well. Yeah, yeah. Dude, both these decks are on no wins. Beat to Justin five. Five. Okay. It's the uh, Spider Man point, uh, Spider Man, the again. Sanctum Sorry. Yeah, the these decks are. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I actually think this hand's pretty insane, so I'll keep. I'll play Bracket, I guess, when mm. it's your turn. Like, if it's going to move one from a creature, why doesn't it put it into your supply? And why does it stun? If it if it's going to stun your creatures and only move and, and move amber, yeah. it should take all of the amber off of them. I don't know. Brachioditis just feels like overcompensation for the, the ridiculous Saurian dumping from previous sets. It's, like it's like a very conservative design when it didn't yeah. need to be. Um... I'll play Sanctum. I'll play Bever and Marshall Ewer. Raise the tide. Your turn. I will say Sanctum. I will take three chains to raise the tide. I'm not a fan of that, but I think I can do it based off of my hand. I'll play a Bulwark. I'll play a Taxing Journey, and I'll play a Strange Ordination. And it's your turn. I'll drop a chain and draw two. Okay, sorry, I'll play a Rostrum. Play Magistra Vita. I'll exalt and reap with Marshall. Play Venator Altum. And Okay, I am going to say Sarian. I'm gonna play Carpe Venum. I'll exalt um Bever. And you were play console primus. Um, Brachioditis is gonna kill Sir Bever. Okay, stomp all over. He's very dead. Uh, and it's your turn. I'll drop chain and draw. Say sanctum. I'll fight console primus. Raise the tide. I will play Sir Bever. 
So I'll shifting battlefield, Sir Bever, capture one. Hammergram bulwark. And then cleansing wave. Four three. Something about cleansing wave in this set is it's like good for three plus amber every time. Yeah. For the lot a lot of the time. Uh your turn. Alright, I am gonna say unfathomable. I'm gonna thunder toe Bever and Ewer. And then I'm going to call both of them to the Void. That's interesting. Say check. Didn't draw those together last time. Then I'll say check with 10. Yeah, they were in my opening hand, and I was like, I'm going to wait until I can use these and get maximum value. I'll say, sorry, and I'll play Ehedonistic Intent. I will Rostrum. That no, layer. Bulwark was hammer grand, right? Yeah, he's stunned. I was expecting you to follow it up with the grand melee. Play Medicus Lacus. I will wipe clear. I'll do that before I play Medicus. Okay. I'll reap with the Vita. And we'll fight the Bulwark. I'm done. Alright, I will forge. I am going to say unfathomable. I am going to bubbles the venator. I will play Photic Raider. And it is your turn. I will draw three. Forge. Say, sorry, play Physicus Felix and exalt the Raider. I will fight the raider. Play spoils of battle. Capture, capture, capture. I'll rostrum here. And I'll reap. Yeah, like this guy is one more power than a troll. Think about that. I am going to say Sanctum. I'll play Bulwark. So I'll play Bulwark on that side. Brachiodidas loves to fight. Uh, I'm going to Hammergram Mechus Lacus, and then I'll play Avenging Aura. Oh, baby. Which is a head scratcher. Um, and it's your turn. I'll draw three. I will play uh, Sanctum. I'm going to Hammergram. Brachiditis, and then I'm going to healer harm to have my Vita fight it. I am done. I am going to say Saurian. I'm going to play Terror Dactyl. Uh, I'm going to ostracize the Physicus Felix. I'll play Krasosaurus. I wish I could whirlpool this. The hell you say. <laughs> Alright, well. And then it is your turn. I will draw three. Okay, I'll say Saurian. Result each flank creature. Play Alton, I'll play Filer. I wish he had a way to dump all of this. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had a way to dump all of this amber. Um I am going to say unfathomable. I'm gonna take this maelstrom and put it in the discard pile. I'm gonna play two bubbles though. I'm gonna put those on top of your deck. Uh and then this bubbles is just gonna reap. And it is your turn. I will draw three. All right, it's time to take the unfathomable turn. I've been waiting to take this whole entire game. Are you ready? Nathan? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna ready. play Flame Enforcer and three Storm Surges. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been waiting to play those. 
They've been in my hand for 100 see. years. I'm done. I can see why you'd want to take that turn. Exactly 100 years. All right, I am going to say Sanctum. I'm going to reap with Bulwark. I am going to... I have to commence Operation Keep Krasosaurus alive. Uh, I'm going to play Grand Melee to kill the Flame Gill Enforcer and my Bulwark. Uh, I will play Larry of the Lake and Seneschal Sargassa. Um, I will take three chains to raise the tide. Uh, I'll capture onto the Seneschal Sargassa. And then I'll play Strange Ordination. I'll drop a chain and draw three. Say check with six. Okay, I'll say Saurian. Wait, I'll say Sanctum. I'll play Saint Jean. I'll oh, take yeah. these are do not ready. Three chains. I can't believe you're ready with those cards. I can't even believe it. Uh, I get four, please. Oh, uh, yeah. Play Hold Fast, and I'll play a Strange Ordination. I am done. All right, I am going to say Saurian. I'm going to play Altruist Rostrum. Slowly. I start dumping the hammer off it. Um, I'll decadence one off of it. I will wipe clear. Rhizosaurus has armor. Mm -hmm. And elusive. It does not have elusive. Oh, it does have elusive. Yeah, it has elusive. It is not easy to fight. Uh, Krasosaurus, I guess, will reap. And then I will unstun the Pterodactyl. And it is your turn. I will draw a chain and draw three. Okay, I'll say Saurian. I'll ostracize it. Oh. I guess I can alt roster one first. And ostracize it. Get him out of here. I'll play Philo and Venator. Uh, I'll play over here. Your turn. I'll say Unfathomable. Play, play Deep Priest Glebe. <laughs> I'll play Flame Gill Enforcer. Um, I will exhaust Venator Altum. Um, the Bubble Squad is going to reap three times. And it's your turn. I'll drop a chain and draw two. So you check with seven. Forge. I'll say unfathomable. I'll recusal chant to exhaust all creatures. And I'll sleep with the fishes to destroy all exhausted creatures. And I'll play these things. Alright, done. Okay, so I'll forge. Uh, I, if I had like, I have a Faust, so if one of the Sinestrals had lived, I think I could stop that key, but that's game. Oof. That was actually a decent game, too. Yeah. That was a decent game, too. The Crassosaurus game. Yeah. Well, Crassosaurus does not seem great for the Whirlpool deck, but we'll see. I mean, you just don't, I mean, 
Probably just don't. Amber. Amber on drinking salt. Yeah, you can try. Okay. Game five. Yeah, you can just give it right back. It depends on the board state. I mean, second of Grand Land, Zimzor. Okay. I think second is a 2 0, and Zimzor's fighting for a spot. Okay. Yes, that is correct. You could have a three advancing knight if. If, if uh, Zimzor can take it here. Three Storm Surges. The evil twin takes it in this last game. I, I would think so, probably. But yes, that is required for the three advancing. There could only be one advancing if this game... If the second wins and the evil twin loses, so... Place all creatures to the left. It's so easy. But you, if you already have creatures in play and they play Krasasaurus, you can't easily give it back. That's the issue. That's what... That's that's the problem. You just, you have to have no creatures in the first place. Now, I, I think, honestly, I think um, to play the Evil Twin deck, the correct play is to probably not keep that many creatures in play. Mm. It doesn't have a ton of creatures is the thing, so it's like pretty easy for it to yeah. do that. I think you. I think you don't want to play that many creatures. That way, you've got better control over your whirlpool. I yeah. think that's the the trick with the deck. You probably aggress aggressively discard like mediocre creatures. There's probably some shadow stuff in there. You probably just get rid of. You don't really care if it's there or not. So. Yeah, the but the issue the the scenario you want to avoid is you have like two creatures in play. They play Krasosaurus and give it to you immediately. That's what you want to avoid. The board wipes don't help in that situation. You can't bubbles it. You can't maelstrom. There's a lot of things you can't play um, there. Now you could save a card specifically, but um, there's a lot of things that there's a lot. Of, I think there's a lot of board states. Um, where the Krasasaurus is bad, bad news. Whirlpool Fangtooth is, it would be interesting, right? So you could give the creature and then immediately destroy it. Whirlpool versus Pincerator. Hmm. Hmm. You choose which effects happen in the turn first, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I'll say his games are better than I expected them to be. Yeah, I'd say. I'd say. Well, I think it's because the decks are similar enough. Mm. Um, and they, they're all kind of doing similar things, so you kind of have to make choices. And oh. So. I right. think I think that right. is... I think that is what's going on here, more so than... Um, um, play the sure. Yeah, I'll say Sarian. I will play Hedonistic Intent, Exalt Eddie. Then I'll play Venator Altum and Sensor Phyla. It's your turn, I'll draw. Play Sanctum. Take three chains. Range Ordination. Healer Harm to full heal and gain one. And Shifting Battlefield. Your turn. I am cards. going to say Sarian, I'll play Spoils of Battle. Sensor Philo is going to kill Eddie, and then I'll reap with Venator Altum. And it is your turn. 
I did have cleansing wave, right? Yes. Hmm. Say logos. I'm gonna pause the bolt there. Just because he exalts. And I'll play Armadrone and Archon's Callback. I'll drop Chain, but go to seven. Right. I'm gonna say Sarian. I'll play Altris, Rostrum. Um, Venager Altum is gonna kill Armadrone, and I'll be with Sensor Philo. And it is your turn. I will draw one. Say Orion. Go to the archive. Play Rostrum. Play Ostracize and the Venator. Ostracize is the best card. Yeah, it's insane. Uh, I can play the two card by Venoms first. Right. Okay. So I got two more. Grab your own damn Amber. Uh, your turn. I will say, um, Sanctum, I'll discard Hammergram, I'll play Marshall Ewer, and it's your turn, I'll draw two. Say Sanctum, I'll Cleansing Wave, I Forge. Cleansing Wave, I'll Grand Melee. Play Senegal and will work. Draw four. Okay, I'm gonna say infallible. I'll storm surge and storm surge. I will recusal's champ. I will sleep with the fishes, and then I'll play bubbles and voice of recusal. I was like waiting for you to establish any sort of board so that I could use infallible stuff. So I kept drawing it, and uh, you kept having nothing. So I'll say check with seven. It's your turn. I'll say sorry, and I'll play white clear. Do one damage. Yep. I don't take it because my creatures oh, yeah. currently have one armor. Play console premises. Uh, I'm done. Check with six. You do. Draw four. I am going to say Sanctum. I'm going to play Aha the Inconspicuous. Actually, I'll play Sir Bever, then Aha, then Seneschal. I'll discard this Cleansing Wave. I actually wish my creatures took damage. I'll play Shifting Battlefield, and I'll capture one onto Aha. And it is your turn. I will draw five. Hey, Logos, I will... Backup plan for three. All information exchange one. And play an A. Yeah. Your turn. Uh, I'm going to say Sanctum. I'm going to Strange Ordination. I am going to Hammergram, um, Consul Primus, I will play a Sir Bever, Aha is going to kill Consul Primus, actually it's bad for me to keep Sinistral Sargassa when you have two Consul Primuses and an Altris Rostrum, right. you just like shift all of the um, Amber to my creatures. Uh, I'll reap with Sir Bever, and then Sinishal will kill Eddie. Uh, I don't take any damage because of the voice. Um, and it is your turn. I will draw three. I wish I could have threatened there, but I literally have to kill your board. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm just like giving you Amber. All right, I'll say Saurian. Play Venator. Play Medicus. Play Faust. Play Reach Advantage. Raise the tide. Oh, at Death Forge? Yes. I'll do that, though. And I capture two. I will play Reach Advantage, capture Icon, then capture two. And then I'll use Ultra Rostrum.
Gold spoon on Pepper. Your turn. Alright. I am going to say Sarian. Um I will take three chains to raise the tide. I'll capture onto Uzel. I will wipe clear. I like how I went from check, like almost check that turn, to having no actual amber in play. I am going to play Physicus Felix. I will exalt um, the Faust. I'll play Medicus Lacus. Oh, did you take um, Jake the Tide? I did. Did you take it with chains? Okay. Yes, I did. Uh, I'll play Medicus Lacus. I'll play Magistra Vita. I'm actually not going to use her here because I don't think I've seen the final analysis from that deck yet, right? Um, and then I am going to ostracize Faust. Uh, I will Altruist Rostrum. Actually, I could put this onto the Faust before I Altruist Rost before I uh, ostracize it. So, okay. And it is your turn. Um, go ahead, I'll drop a chain and draw a four. So everything has plus one armor on your side? Yes, plus one armor, plus one power. Okay. I'm gonna play Sanctum. Play Larry of the Lake. Play Honor of Glory. Deal three to each non-flank creature, and then Cleansing Wave. It's two. These don't take damage. So three more. Does that I have two Cleansing Waves? Mm. Yeah. It's getting. I'm getting dogged. Uh, that would took one, right? You got that one. Yeah, it took. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh, Maybe I didn't need to pick the archive then. Uh -huh. I need to play this charge. Then play Larry. Do two damage to Senegal. Okay. So she'd take one. Two. She'd take two, two from. I get one more from Cleansing yeah. Wave. Yeah. And then I'll shifting battlefield. Put one on Larry. Your turn. Don't don't have any amber trolls. So just lose, just lose the cleansing wave. Man, yeah, the cleansing okay. wave and uh, again, suck. Our glory, yeah, it did suck. Uh, that the the um, yeah, it's like I have to play creatures, but it's just like playing into that deck's hands, yeah. right? So, this card that gives a voice of recusal is the card. The card's pretty meh. Voice of Recusal, well, yeah. your opponent has control over it, right? You can just yeah, exactly. choose. You could just take the chains there, especially in that situation, so you're going to be generating an like, actual million amber. And I have Logos ready for like next turn yeah. to do stuff. I mean, I was like, I, I, I felt trapped. I was like waiting for the final analysis at any point, so yeah. I couldn't load my creatures up with amber. Medicus Legus would be a way for me to get back in that game, but you just final analysis if I'm ever like. Um, in in danger of threatening with the key. Uh, the second of Grand Land was pretty good this pod. Yeah, pretty good. It was just fast. I yeah. mean, it was just the stupid logo sufficiency. I just I don't I um I just don't see how um they want to they can like just keep printing only efficiency and logos um. I feel like this might be I, Logos's last. I set. just yeah, just like from a design perspective, it's very frustrating. Like just spread it out a little bit. You can you can put some more. Yeah, I don't know why Logos gets just the best cards in this set. Yeah, um, just the best cards in the game. Like drawing cards is very neutral, but archiving is it's extremely powerful. It's extremely powerful, right? 
You can always draw cards you can't immediately use. Because, like, Shadows doesn't have any archiving in this set, I don't think. Yeah, uh, Shadows doesn't have Hidden Stash or the um, card from AOA. Right. There's no Mars. Star Alliance can do some archiving. Yeah, Shadows does have Master Plan, right? And, and that's the thing is, like, cards like Master Plan that's are like a like rare. pseudo efficiency, right? Yeah. So. Game six. Okay, this night did wheel way faster than. We'll see how long this yeah. game takes, but. Dust Chronicles. Dust Chronicles. Yeah, yeah, I love that's Dust a great, that's great, a great card. card. It's a love good, that card. It's a great card. It's a very good card. Uh, like, I, if Shadows is going to be the House of Stealing, you need cards that, like, reward the Shadows player for timing their Amber Control, right? And I feel like Dust Chronicles is a great card for that. Having mo having modal features on it, where it's like if you're a but if your opponent has more amber than you, you you have a penalty sorta. It's not as good as if it if you if you have more amber than your opponent. And it's not like a win more card because it doesn't like it's not like if you have more amber than your opponent, steal three. Right. You know, like that's stupid. That's that's not good design. But letting you archive a card from your hand is good. It gives you some efficiency. Bring back Mars. Yeah, like, Mar like Mars, Mars stuff. Mars showing your opponent a creature from your hand and putting it into your archive is like. And then having to balance you putting the, your, their stuff in your archive and like. Well, Archiving the top card of your deck is fine. Yeah. Martian Generosity is too good. We all know it's too good. Right, yeah. We all know this. We all know this. It should never have been printed. Um. But we can't take it back. Uh, so you won the roll? Mm -hmm. Okay. I will mulligan this hand. This hand may be a trap. It's very possible this hand's a trap. Yeah. That's the fortunate news, right? Is that it didn't ruin the game. Yeah. I mean, I do think losing Amber, you have to get a pretty powerful effect for it to be worth it. Drawing two cards is probably too powerful. Um, I guess and honestly, it's just I mean, honestly, find the right shell around it. Honestly, Mar like Martian Generosity feels fair in AOA decks. Um, yeah, exactly. A lot of uh, a lot of the if you don't have like Mars First or Xanthix Harvesters or Proliferator. Um, if Mars first something. Yeah. Very important. You need the you need the ability to generate amber spontaneously um, without your opponent being able to stop it, uh, because if all of your amber is like tied to having to untap with creatures, then your opponent no don't let any Martians alive. And that's another example of like where a card like. Francis seems pretty bad on paper, but then you play against Martian Generosity and your opponent goes to five during one of their turns. You like use Francis to give them one and force them to forge as like a is is you know or tempting offer. Yeah. It's like a it's a situation where it's like giving your opponent one and letting them forge a key saves the game. So oh, this hand's much better. Was that first? Yeah, you won the roll. I thought I rolled three. Oh. <laughs> And suck shit. Oh. I'll play Bulwark. Go ahead. Draw one. All right. Blissarian. I'll crush and charge it. I'll play Spoils of Battle. I'll play this stuff. I'll say sorry, and I'll play pterodactyl and then Faust, and I'll use the capture icon of Faust onto the pterodactyl. Uh, it's your turn, I will draw to you. Okay. Say. Shadows. Sharp trouble amongst those two. They deal damage equal to each other. Yep. Equal to power. Gets around that only deals four. With fighting. I'll play booby trap. I think I have to hit hit file yeah. with it. Right. Yeah. Lethal logica. I mean, lethal logica. I think was kind of absurd, and um, but it's like a good example. I'll discard ransack. 
I might be throwing here over here. Let's see. I'm gonna say Saurian. I'll play Brachioditis. Ha! I'll unstun Pterodactyl. And it's your turn, I'll draw one. Wow. Uh, I'll say Unfathomable, a Brain Drain. Uh, I'll put Senegal on top. I'll play Sherman. Play Fuguru. Your turn. I'll say Unfallible. We'll play Flame Gill and Fodic. It's your turn. I'll draw. Play. I, I don't. I don't draw all of it. I draw all the Seneschal. Brother Resarians fight for the right to have biggest creatures. I love it. The only way to forge a key is to play Might Makes Right. <laughs> uh, they, this is just should be in the deck. So I saw both of these. I'm not supposed to have both of these, but one one was a card I actually wanted, but mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure which order it was in. So I will play Stir Up Trouble amongst those two. Okay. I'm gonna scoop, scooped, scoopity scooped. And I'll discard Bad Penny. Your turn. Okay, I'm gonna say Sanctum. I'll play Seneschal. I'll play Taxing Journey. I'll play Avenging Aura. And it's your turn. I will draw three. Say Infallible. I'll play Echo Pearl. I will play Chant to Exhaust. And I'll Reap twice. I am going to say Unfathomable. I'm going to play Photic Raider. I will play. Actually, I'll play Photic Raider here. So I get one. I'll play two bubbles. Uh, I'll put Fuguru and General Sherman. Get these idiots. <laughs> oh, I get these idiots. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Boom! Can I deploy? Is uh, it put into play? Is this put into play? Return to play each creature purged this so way. So it's put into play. Yeah. Um, so I don't get the play effects. No, you don't. Um, uh, okay, well. All right. Your turn. We'll draw a four. Play. Arian. Crushing charge. Kill one creature. I'll humble the dino. I'll humble a bubbles. And I'll echo pearl the Seneschal. Oh, no, I don't think uh, I don't think the pterodactyl will be stunned. Oh, it enters play stunned. Yeah, pterodactyl it'll be enters stunned. play yeah. stunned. It'll be stunned. Mm, I guess I'll say sanctum. I'll play altruist rostrum. I'll unstun the pterodactyl and I'll play Faust. Will exalt pterodactyl. You'll um pay eight for that key. I'll make you pay dearly. Yeah. I'll draw okay. it too. I'll say unfathomable. Play a Sherman. Keep chomping away. Play a Fuguru. Your turn. You lost power, Farquaad. No. 
Yeah, the the Sherman puts returns them to play. Pterodactyl says enters play, not yeah. play colon stun pterodactyl. Uh okay, I am going to say unfathomable. I'm gonna play Deep Priest Glaby. Uh, I'm gonna call the void General Sherman and then recall him to the void. Now, if you don't mind, I would like my creatures back. There, 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 there. Here, here, here. There, there. Here, there. Here, there. I'm gonna play like that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there. there. Uh, I want him like. For a particular reason. And uh, it is your turn. I will draw three. Play on. I will raise the tide. Get to capture uh, two. Capture two. I wish I had Whirlpool. Glad uh, you don't. <laughs> Idle wave. You get the tide. So I capture two, but you decide who captures it. Um, I'll Wrath or Ruin. Two... Or turn these to your hand. And reap with Fugger. It's exalted. Your turn. I am going to say Sanctum. I'm going to play Strange Ordination. I'm going to Grand Melee. <clears throat> Let's grab the other grand melee. I'll play Bulwark and Seneschal. Actually, I'm going to discard the Seneschal. It's trouble against because you could draw into Whirlpool. And, uh, okay. And it's your turn. I'll say check with seven and draw. Say Sarian. Where do I? I'll say Shadows. Play Hobnobber and Shoulder Id and Gas Pipes. Okay, I'll Forge. I am going to say unfathomable. I am going to bubbles. Shoulder id, I guess. I think that's the creature you want to draw and play the least. Three bubbles, man. Oh, I should play this deep priest Glebe first and then bubbles. I'll tap the hobnobber. Being an asshole. Um, and then I am going to reap twice. And it's your turn. I will talk to you. Okay, I'll say, sorry, I will ostracize the deep priest. Like Corners and Octavia. Fight Bulwark. I'll with Spencer Philo. And I'm done.
the the flavor text of Sensor Philo is your Diplodocus immunity has just been revoked. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. I'll play Pterodactyl. Uh, actually, I think I'll keep Pterodactyl here. I'm going to play Consul Primus. I'm going to play Carpe Venum. This is actually a tough choice here. Um, the Sensor Violet already has one on it. Yes, gets one. Now, who gets the other? Guessing the Sensor Philo that has all that damage. Okay. And then I am going to Decadence. I can put it on console primus, reap, and then immediately dump it. I can put it on bubbles, kill like the hobnobber, or gas pipes, um, and then rostrum it. I think I want. I think gas pipes' value was low. I think hobnobber's value is also low. Um, I got low T. <laughs> I'll put it. Put this on console primus. I'll put it on this bubbles. Who's gonna fight Hobnobber? I don't want Hobnobber sticking around. If I if Hobnobber steals one amber from me, I'm gonna lose my shit. Um, and I'll Altruist Rostrum that to this uh, the sad and failing sensor Philo over there. And it's your turn. I will draw four. Okay, we'll say shadows. I'll fight the Council Primus so it captures yeah. one first. I will play Shoulder Rib and Hard Simpson and Whisper. Your turn. Okay. I am going to say unfathomable. I am going to play Seabringer Kakoa. I am going to reap three times with the bubbles. I am going to Thunder Toe Hard Simpson and the Sensor Philo that has Amber on it. And it is your turn. I will say check with eight. I will draw to you. Say unfathomable. Play whirlpool. Finally, very twenty years. Three eight million years. My discard maelstrom. I'm gonna brain drain you. Well, I'm gonna show you this Krasasaurus. Probably getting put back on top of the deck. There's a number of good cards are in there. Well, definitely press source. I will bubbles the Seabringer. And that is my turn. Okay, so I will forge. Crassosaurus. Uh, I'll say Sanctum. I'll play Strange Ordination. Discard Grand Melee. That's all it does is kill your bubbles and of my creatures. I'll play 
wary of the lake. And your turn. Okay. Forge, I'll draw. It's four. Say sorry, in. Play Grim Locus Ducks. Spoils of battle. So that I can capture. Capture, capture. Uh, I'm going to humble my sensor fellow. Octavia. You get this on the whisper. Octavia will. Fight of Bubbles. And your turn. Is Ducks ready? Yeah, he's ready. Yeah, raise the end of Justin's turn. Unless he storm surged. Did he storm surge? No? Okay. I took a Sanctum turn, in mm. fact. I will never in about 100 years remember, remember storm surge whenever it happens. So, Especially because the turns are definitely longer in this set. There's a lot more to think about. I'm gonna say unfathomable. Bubbles is gonna fight Harness and Octavia. Bubbles is gonna fight your bubbles. I'll play Seabringer Kakoa. I'll discard Maelstrom. And it's your turn. Shuffle and draw too. I'll say sorry, Ian. I'm going to ostracize the ducks. All crushing charge. Uh, he's dead. It's done. And I'm done. I will. Yeah, you get that. White clear. Carpe Venum, uh, both. Rostrum, the amber from the sensor onto the pterodactyl. Ostracize. Krasasaurus. Give you Krasasaurus. Draw four. Okay, I'll say sorry. Fight Seabringer. I'll reap. Use Krasasaurus. That joins first. Then it's also your creature. <laughs> Half 
tap the tide for some reason still. I am going to say Sanctum. The hot potato begins. I'll play the strange ordination. It's the who's left holding the bag. Yeah. Um Hammergram the Kakoa. Discard the Seneschal. There you go, draw three. Play unfathomable. I'll brain drain. For this, no, if it's not if it's not an easy choice, then I've got odds at least. Put the call of the void on top. Discard these cards. Ruin the nutcaster. Do the shoulder in. I cannot believe. Yeah, I know. I cannot believe. You're telling me. Um. Say like Saurian. I'll discard Daredact on the console of Primus. I'll reap with the Krasasaurus. I'll... Need a way to like... Okay, uh, that's your turn. That's yours now. I'll drop three. Uh, I'll say shadows. I'll discard two stirrup troubles and bad penny. <laughs> your turn. That's mine now. <laughs> so the fact that that's a shadow self makes it funnier. Because like I can't stir up trouble earlier. Yeah. Oh, because I would just steal one. Yeah. <laughs> And it doesn't do any of the damage. It yeah. doesn't actually do damage. <laughs> when it would deal damage, steal instead. La mal. Yeah. Um, okay, I am gonna say unfathomable. I'll play the I'll discard the flame gill. I am gonna thunder toe both of these creatures. Exalt them or exhaust them, do damage. Um I am gonna discard the maelstrom. And then I'm gonna call of the void the shadow self, so it explodes. I gain one, but I lose one. Exhaust creature. Yeah. And this says exhaust two creatures. So I can do those to mine. I can't like yeah. yeah. Um Okay, uh, your turn. I'll draw four. <laughs> I'll say sorry, and uh, I will. You should like. You have to like dig to the humbles to start dumping the amber off. I don't know what you, I do now because. Yeah. Yeah, he's got two armor. He's elusive with two armor. Hmm. Cause like now the only way is if I come somehow give you a creature. Otherwise I have control every turn, as long as you just discard creatures. So I think I just lose now. 
Because I'm ahead on Amber. Yeah. Because if we're both, if we both say Sarian, Sarian reap pass. Yeah. Uh, I'm ahead on the count, so. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Sarian reap. End my turn. Give you control, Krasis. Play Fathom. I'll discard Maelstrom. I'll play Echo Pearl. Okay. Your turn. I'll say Sarian. I will reap. I will decadence to exalt, ready, and reap. Um, and it's your go. Here's your Krasis horse back. It's like check with seven. Yep, that is the game. <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe the deck lost. The evil twin lost. That game made it. Uh, man, that game. I think it, this is a bad pod for this deck. Uh, yeah, Krasis horse. Man. <laughs> Goodbye. Can't believe you got a match with Light Tasker. You trash deck. You garbage deck. You can't even make it out if of If I had roll one, or Whirlpool earlier in the game... I, yeah, I was waiting. I was playing... So I yeah. held the Krasasaurus for a million turns. Yeah. Because I was like, I'm not playing this card until you play the Whirlpool. And you were like barely able to get enough Amber to play it. Yeah. Yeah, I itself. was like, I was like, I'm going to be one short and I'm going to be livid because yeah. Ostracize is going to make me lose one. I'm going to spend 15 minutes talking about how Ostracize is a terrible card. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Was that? Does that actually end up in a triple elimination? It sure does. I think that's a that's the best possible thing that could happen to us. Then. Yeah, I would agree. Oh, that's wrong. Boom. Okay. Only a actual triple. Only elimination. the second of Grand second. Land. Everything else cannibalized each other. I'm sorry, evil twin. Yeah. You're cool. You're a cool fun deck. Banished to the Shadow Realm. It's not cool and fun enough. Are evil twin decks secretly bad? I don't know if it's secretly bad. I think I think uh I think that actually has some of the best evil twins in it. Yes. Because Although, Sensor Philo is pretty good. That Sensor Philo is really good with the game plan. Yeah. Because you can just smoke creatures that you're handing off to your opponent. My starting hand was like five starring cards, and I, I wonder if I should have mulligan out of the hand, because it did nothing. It may it may have come down to the fact that I didn't mulligan that. Because it was just like it was the both sensor file was Contina. Oh. Uh yeah. Spoils of Battle and something else. No, oh, a crushing charge. Yeah, it was like I should have mulliganed that hand. Hmm. Oh well. Well definitely to try to get the whirlpool. I to think. get to the whirlpool? I think you I think you want to get to the whirlpool sooner rather than later in that deck. Yeah. So I should have been more aggressive about it. Oh well. Rigged. That's how the could Rigged. Jumbles. So, yeah, I think uh, um, I, uh, tonight was a better night than I expected it to be. Yeah, I think I we actually ended up with some pretty good games. That um, game was good. I mean, yeah, that was a really unique situation. Yeah, we actually ended up with several three to two keys games that yeah. were like, pretty tight. So, um, it's just like it feels like all of the decks aren't quite powerful enough to exert their will exactly the way they want to. Right. Um, which I guess is always like the trademark of like a of a mediocre or bad deck, right? Is it's is it doesn't quite get to do everything you want it to do. Um, Come here. um you always Come feel like you're a card short Come here. or so. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. You could do it. You could do it. <laughs> you could do it. Yeah. So, but anyway, that was a fun night, though. That, that ended up being better than I thought. I saw all the Sanctum Starian. If this were Mass Mutations, we'd still be playing. We'd oh be yeah, on game, for sure. we'd be on game three, right? Like, um, and he so. gets a treat. Hey, you're gonna get a treat! Ah, ah, uh, he's so excited. Ah. Ah. He's so excited. The treat is inside. Justin, get to it, Eddie. <laughs> oh, God. Attack! Attack the treat. Oh, oh, he did it. First try. First try. All right. Wow. There you go. Amazing. Dark Tidings. That's it. Uh, yeah. We'll be back Wednesday. Wednesday. With group I? Yes. Ah. Yeah, group I. We're approaching. Wait, it's 
That's not the end of the. There's first one. I think that's the last one. Ah, uh, creeping Until in. So we get in the second wave. I I want to get into the second wave so bad because of the bangers I opened there. I want to go back and revisit those decks with the added knowledge that I have now. All yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, go back so. to the starting screen. And yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to getting to those. Uh, those are gonna be pretty. A lot great. of good logo decks up in there. Yeah. If I remember correctly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think any logo deck that has. Notice how that logo deck ran away with the pod. Yeah, it was like not close, right? No. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, the uh, any logo deck that has like phase shift by itself is automatically very, very good yeah. because it can like because there's a lot of cards that are very situational because you find yourself in that pod. I found myself almost never wanting to take the chains or just being able to archive those cards. Dude. Well, well, I was gonna say. So phase shift lets you play your tide control from another house. Right. Um, or while you have the tide as a logo player, you comment. can play a card and get the benefit while you've got the tide. Right. Um, and then think twice is very good. And then when you've got phase shift and think twice in the same deck, that's where dumb stuff starts happening. And you can just kind of start just playing. whatever you want. You just start playing whatever card whenever you want. Yep. Um, and your opponent is just like, Man, I wish I had logos. So pretty much how I felt when you played Archon's Callback. Yeah, first turn. Turn one. I mean, yeah, and that game. That game was a that blowout. was not even close. That was probably that game the most was blowout of the night, right? That that game was a blowout. Um, and that was because just turn one, Logos is like you have an eleven card hand. So you and phase shift. Forgive, forget, forget, forget. Yeah. Is so good. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that being um, um, yeah, because you're like. You play your logos cards. You phase shift. You play your um, your PE. You dump your hand. You draw your six. You draw into your forgive forget. You archive your phase your um, either your phase shift or your PE depending on what your game plan is. Depending on what the untamed looks like, right? You could have a banger untamed in the deck um, with like enough Gruins and Chelonias, um, or just like in findings key frog stuff like that. So uh, by the way. Speaking of good logos, I bought two decks from Jupiter. Ah. So yeah. they have really good logo sides. One has Dark Discovery in the Unfathomable. Uh, okay. So yeah, yeah I, I, that, think... I don't know that they're like super good, but they look really fun, at the very least. And we could throw them in the fight nights or whatever. Yeah. So we have some extra. Yeah, I saw like, it, it looks higher than average I, power level. I saw like Grant things. made a tweet where he was like, now is the time to buy It really is. Uh, now is the time to buy competitive Dark Tidings. Um because no, like SAS way undervalues them, and um, and I, I don't think the the highest power dark times like a super obvious that it is. I I agree with that statement. Yeah, because I think there's there's probably a golden number of tide control cards now for Archon. That's a different story. You only need probably like three or four. Right, right, right. Like just tide control it, cards. You just without a take just getting a free one here or there, and yeah. cards like Portal I think go a long way because Portal is just free amber in Archon. Um, so, uh, but yeah, so I think, I think there's probably some, some mega bangers, um, out there that people just aren't aware of yet. So. Agreed. Uh, he did say that. I, but also, yeah. but then Grant said buy a competitive deck right now. Yeah. So who knows? Yeah. They're playing mind games. They're playing mind games. Don't, that's why you don't put stock in tweets. Yeah. Brins could be pretty good. Yeah, but like Brend's in the set. Brend people is, forget about that. Brend is in this set. Uh, Shadows can actually do a lot of stealing. It's hard for that Shadow side to exist in the set, mm -hmm. but much harder than other sets, the, like the heavy steel Shadows. But Brend being around... You don't you don't have the... I mean, outside of Urchin, you don't have the play steel creatures that exist in other sets. It's like harder Mine, to get the stealing. Yeah. Or Red. Which is good. I, Which yeah, is good. I, or Bow, right? Yeah. Like, I think that's the... the, the th the, the trick there, right? You can't just Ronnie exhume eight times in a game and win, right? So... Because Eddie knows? Yeah. Because Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think... Um, I, I mean, Shadows... If Shadows it just does damage and does stuff, then it feels good in this set, right? Shadows also is probably one of the highest per capita uh, actions with amber pips on them because a lot of the dual cards don't have amber pips on them so you play these actions and sometimes it doesn't feel like you're getting ahead so yeah oh my it's so cute yeah all right 
everyone, have a good night. We're done here. I'll see you on Wednesday. Yeah, we'll be back Wednesday. Goodbye. Later.